Hey everyone, welcome back to the Sawmill Barn uh, here at Southern Indiana Sawmill. Uh, today I'm going to be cutting uh, a whole bunch of walnut and truth be told I've already cut quite a lot earlier this week and I've got just a few logs left so I'm getting down to the, the last bit I have here. And I've got some really nice logs that I want to get through and you know walnut nowadays is kind of become exotic of domestics if you will, meaning that it's highly sought after um, and it's really went up in price a lot the last several years. Um, there's a lot of factors and reasons for that but needless to say uh, walnut is at top dollar prices right now more than they ever have been and so I had the opportunity to acquire uh, quite a bit of walnut from another sawmill not too far down the road from me and what they are they're a big circular sawmill and their sawyer is actually allergic to walnut and so they don't saw any walnut at all. So what ends up happening is over the course of several months they get logs on various trucks and then these walnuts will be on there and they'll just kick them off to the side. Um, and then I was able to make uh, a fairly decent deal in acquiring this. And so what I'm doing today is I'm pretty much cutting everything an 8 quarter or 2 inch thick because I, I feel I've cut a sufficient amount of the 1 inch thick or 4 quarter. And so that's mostly what we're going to be doing, at least as much as we can. And there's a couple of things that you might want to know about walnut. Uh, one of them is, is that walnut is known for having a very high scrap rate. Um, that is, there's a lot of cutoff pieces and a lot of sapwood pieces that aren't very good for lumber that end up in the scrap pile. And so that's one of the reasons that walnut ends up costing more uh, is because of the scrap rate. If you buy 50 board foot in log form, you know, you might get 25 or 30 board foot by the time you, you scrap uh, all of your sapwood and bark parts off of it. So, it's a beautiful day today in southern Indiana. Um, as you can hear, uh, the cicadas are just still buzzing like crazy around here. And you can hear them all over. And probably, I wouldn't be surprised if it, in this video you see me getting attacked by quite a few of them. They, they seem to like me. <laughs> well guys, let's get cutting some walnut and reveal the beauty that nature has given us today.
this log here is such a nice big log but one of the issues it had was there's a big crack on the end of this log and since I don't have x-ray vision you know you can't tell exactly what's going on the good news is it looks like that doesn't go too far in so we are going to cut all this eight quarter now that I've got past this bad spot but besides that look at the perfect clean beauty of this walnut black walnut it's amazing what is created isn't it who knows what this will end up being let's keep going Man, I'll tell you what, guys, this week has been a sweater. Hydration, very, very important when working outside in the mill on days like today. Uh, yesterday was about, dew point was over 70. Today is similar. At least it's sunny today. <laughs> you know, it just always reminds me whenever I'm out here and I'm busting my tail and Sometimes I'm wondering why. <laughs> uh, I have to be reminded that some work is still honest work. And one of the things to keep in mind, especially something like walnut, every time that blade passes through and I make another piece of lumber, by the time that sells, that's more money in my pocket. And so hard work pays off is what I'm saying. I got two more little logs left here that I have to get sawn up. We're going to do that in fast motion to save you all some time. And uh, we're going to buzz right through those. When I'm done with that, I'm going to show you the lumber that I've been cutting the last couple days. And I think you're going to really enjoy that. So, let's keep going. This is water, by the way. All right, this is all of the eight quarter that I've cut. And then this is a stack of kind of mixed eight and nine foot four quarter. And then this is another stack of 10 foot four quarter. Not too bad, huh? One other thing that I got while well, sawing this, there was one log that was kind of an off log. Not the same as the others. So let's go look at that. That would be this stuff here. And I know that it's going to be very difficult for you to tell this on this video. But this is not black walnut. This is regular walnut. And the difference is the black walnut is significantly darker and this is a very pleasant brown color. So that was a nice surprise. So what I did with that is I cut it eight quarter and four quarter. And you pretty much have enough material in this one log to build, well, say an entire table. This is everything kind of all in one shot. 
Now remember I was telling you the walnut gets quite a bit of scrap. Over the years I've gotten a lot better at that. Trying to cut smaller pieces and get the most I possibly can out of the logs. That's one way you know you're progressing in your sawmilling business when your scrap pile is less. But walnut, this is all of the scrap. This is about, I'm trying to think how many logs I had total. I think I had about uh, 20 or so. About 20 logs total. This is half of the stack. This is just what I did today. So that's about nine logs worth. And you wonder what happens to all of this. Well, in my case, we cut as much as we possibly can because my wife in the winter time likes to keep that fireplace burning. But after we've cut enough, we bundle it up and we give it away to other people for firewood. So as you heard me say, I started with about 20 walnut logs or so, some smaller, some bigger. And I did a significant chunk of that yesterday. And today I cut only eight quarter and whatever, as little four quarter is necessary. So two inch and as little one inch is necessary. And you're probably wondering overall what I just showed you, how much wood is that? And what is that worth? Well, like I said, today walnut is at a premium. And in my area here in Southern Indiana, walnut is selling for around $7 for four quarter and as high as uh, 10 or $12 for eight quarter. And so I had a little under a thousand board foot here. I, it came out to be about 920 or 930 board foot is what I had total of good material that you see here. And so overall for two days of sawing, the net worth of that um, is around $7,000, about $7,300 uh, for what what I have here. And you're going to say, well, that's a heck of a lot of money for a couple days of work. Well, <laughs> there's a lot of hidden costs involved in the sawmilling business, and it takes a lot to turn loads over and uh, do all of that. So you can make decent money in the sawmill business if you have the right material and if you're willing to work very hard for it. And that's the thing. Not a lot of people are willing to do that. So I'm pretty happy with the progress of the last couple days. This is going to take uh, a month or two to turn all of this over, but all the walnut that you see here is going to be available for sale. So if you do live in my area and you're interested in buying some, uh, make sure to follow the contacts in the bottom of the uh, description box and you'll find the email there and you can inquire about this material then. As always, if you've been watching my videos for a while or if this is your first time and you're not yet subscribed, would you do me a favor, please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're so inclined, do all the other things. Hit the bell, share the video, uh, tell your friends, tell your neighbors about Southern Indiana Sawmill YouTube. I'd be glad to have you here. And as always, God bless you guys. Take care of yourselves in this crazy world. We'll see you next time.